How are here. you, Jacqueline? Hi. She's Hello here to there. talk about. How are you? Hello. There you go. That's how you got to say it. That's how we got to do it. Uh, Hello. How, how are you today, my dear? I'm good. How are you guys? Wonderful, wonderful. So you're you are here. You're you're you are one of our fantastic attorneys here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we bring mm -hmm. on one fantastic attorney after the next squeeze. Which is very good. Yes, and we are here today to talk about U visas. U visas. You. Yeah. So we're talking about you. It's not a visa for you. It's so, a U. So the letter U. The it's letter a, U. It's a type of visa. The type of visa. What is the it U is visa? Yeah. What is the U visa? Yeah. What's the U visa? The U visa is for victims of crimes in the United States. Mm -hmm. So if you are ever a victim of a crime, you should definitely come consult with us because you may be eligible for one. You have to, have, one, have been a victim, two, be helpful in the investigation of that crime to a um, designated police or what, enforcement agency. One second, let's, wait, we're jumping ahead here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're a victim of a crime. Okay, so you didn't commit the crime. Somebody committed a no. crime against, against you. you. Right. Against you. Okay, mm -hmm. that may entitle you to legal status and eventually a green card. Is it yep. any crime? No, one of the crimes. it's one of the so, so in other words, Jacqueline, if I, if I, if, if Brad's walking down the road and he, he just happens to be, hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, an immigrant, and I jump him. Jump me. And I've been wanting to jump Brad. Yeah. And I jump him. Jump me. And I beat the crap out of him. Beat All right? Me, and he's an immigrant. Like, beat me like Would that qualify him? For the Perhaps U visa? Could, if it qualifies as a felonious assault or a crime that's substantially similar to I, a felonious I would, assault. I would say if Squeeze jumps me and beats me silly, Probably that is. is a felonious assault. Yeah. Okay, that so, would be a felonious. So you could qualify. I would qualify mm -hmm. provided, mm -hmm. and it's not yeah. just assault, we're just using that, mm -hmm. provided that's Jacqueline, Jacqueline was about to say provided you do something. Which is that, report the mm -hmm. crime and and cooperate with the authorities. Correct. This is very exactly, interesting. Exactly. So so l let's come up with another hypothetical situation. Okay. Let's say I am out of status. I'm in a bank and the bank gets robbed. Yeah. What happens then? I'm I'm in the bank. My money was taken also. So it, what happens then? Does that qualify me? You were still perhaps the victim of a robbery and you probably suffered some form of substantial mental uh -huh. um, abuse or hardship and therefore you likely could qualify. Because as I said, these crimes have to be substantially similar to mm -hmm. a qualifying offense. So, you know, there are ways to frame the facts of you your case in order to allow you right. to. You would have to argue that that I was, you know, it depends on what the person was charged with if you if you you would have to argue that you were a victim you cooperated with the police mm -hmm. you were put in danger perhaps by somebody pointed a gun at you or said there's a bomb here and if you don't hand over the money or whatever you know uh we're gonna blow the place up or whatever the thing may be and even because the other thing which you alluded to jacqueline is you have to be the victim of a crime you have to cooperate with the police you got to have an injury Okay, mm -hmm. so sometimes if you're, if you are in, if you are, oh, there's a list of crimes. We there's have a list, list of, of crimes. crimes. All right, oh, then we'll right. get to the injury in a second. Look so at all those lists. abduction, Watch abusive it. sexual yeah. contact, blackmail, domestic violence, extortion, false imprisonment, female genital mutilation, felonious mm -hmm. assault, yes. you mentioned that, fraud in foreign labor, contracting, hostage, incest, involuntary servitude, kidnapping, by the way, the fraud murder. In, by the way, the fraud in foreign labor contracting, you see that all the time on H2E yeah. visas. Yeah. So anybody who mm -hmm. comes here on a work visa and they were defrauded because there was no job, no work, or they were they were not paid what they were supposed to be paid, may right. be eligible for a U visa. Yeah, murder, obstruction yep. of justice, punage, uh, slavery, perjury, prostitution, rape, sexual assault, sexual exploitation, slave trade, stalking, torture, trafficking, witness of tampering, unlawful criminal restraint. Yeah, Along you know, us. it's amazing, um, you know, that uh, sexual assault uh, is is on there. They, it's a very serious crime for immigration. Right. It's apparently not a serious crime if you want to run for Senate in Alabama. Oh, God. <laughs> you know where Brad's going with We're that. Getting right? political. Apparently, here, yeah. apparently it's not very serious there, okay? But it's very mm -hmm. serious elsewhere. Hello, Alabama, wake up! Anyways, we're back to U visas now. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot you, of crimes. You, 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 no, you need to disclaim exactly what you're saying about Alabama because some people don't, don't even know what you're talking about. They know what I'm talking about. The people in Alabama know what I'm talking about. That's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, 
So, uh, so, but not only you have to be the victim of one of those crimes, mm -hmm. and, uh, and mm -hmm. you have to be uh, help the police in the investigation. Let's talk about that first, Four and then we'll talk yeah. about injury. Okay. What okay. does it mean to help the police and what do you do as an attorney to prove that they help the police or help the district attorney as a victim of one of these crimes? Well, simply contacting the police and filing an incident report sometimes is enough um, because even if you do not end up, let's say, testifying against that person, just reporting the crime, the district attorney oftentimes will communicate to us that you are helpful. Um, because they didn't require any additional assistance. Um, and even if that person isn't actually prosecuted for the crime, um, let's say the charges don't stick or whatever the case may be, you still may be eligible. All right. So, and then we're talking about in terms of injury squeeze. Yes, in terms of okay. injury. You have to be injured. You have to be physically injured. Mm -hmm. Or you have, and by the way, by the way, we are talking about, we are talking about U visas, okay? Uh, so for people out there, this is about becoming, getting into a legal status mm -hmm. when you don't have any status when you're the victim of a crime. So if you don't have a physical injury, physical injury is, you know, you went to the hospital, pretty straightforward, right? Mm -hmm. But you can also exactly. have an extreme emotional injury. How do you prove that? You can go to a psychologist or psychologist. even just testimony. We can help you prepare an affidavit about the emotional effects of that situation. Maybe you're unable to eat. You're unable to sleep. Your life has changed significantly because you're so traumatized. Okay. You can't go to work. And, what do, you, and what, do you, what do you get for this U visa? You get a U visa. What does it entitle you to? So once the, the law enforcement agency certifies your request saying that you are helpful in the investigation, you can apply for a U, for a U visa. Well, the what U does it visa give you? allows let's, you- Let's assume you got it. What does it uh, mm -hmm. entitle you to? It permits you to work. Um, and then so long as you have held it for three years, you will be then able to apply for adjustment of status. Okay, so it gets you the green card. And the reason is, is because they want the US government despite Donald Trump, because mm -hmm. this was done before Donald Trump. The U.S. government this wants, <laughs> that's, why, that's why this exists, because Donald Trump wouldn't put this in. The U.S. government <laughs> wants victims of crimes to move, come forward, exactly. even if you're out of status for law enforcement purposes. Now, I will tell you what is very interesting, Squeeze. Mm -hmm. What is? How, do you know how many people are backed up waiting for U visas? How many? Probably oh, over 100,000 people. A lot. There are over mm -hmm. 100,000 victims of crimes really? where it is a, an American citizen committing a crime against someone who is illegal. Mm. Donald Trump has to go far and wide to go find that one case where there's an mm -hmm. illegal immigrant who commits a crime against an American. The numbers of people who are out of status and have crimes and are victims of crimes by American citizens mm -hmm. is staggering and is astronomically much larger than anything Donald Trump could present to Americans to say people here out of status are committing crimes against Americans. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And the statistics back it up. Look how many people applied for U visas. Well, so if you are a victim, I know there's a cap of 10,000. That's why there's, uh, there's a big backlog of this. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it's very interesting. So thank you very much, Jacqueline. Fantastic information. Thank you, Wonderful Jacqueline. attorney. You're welcome. And if anybody is the victim of a crime, uh, go step forward because the police will help you. And then mm -hmm. call Jacqueline here at Sparnberg's need at 1-800-529-5465. No right. Don't be afraid because you got us in your point. Don't be afraid. Thank you so much, Jacqueline.